Let me ask you guys a question. Have you guys ever watched a final season for some show that you've absolutely loved through its highest points to its lowest points, but no matter what you come to it because you love the characters so much, but then you watch the final season and while you still enjoyed it, you felt like there was something missing, but you can't explain it overall. That's kind of how I'm feeling right now. What's going on, buddy? Welcome back to a non-spoiler review for Umbrella Academy Season 4, now on Netflix. I got a chance to check out all the episodes early, and I also got a chance to interview two of the main stars. Please look forward to that interview over on this channel. But in today's video, we're just going to be talking about my overall reaction and review to the final season. And while I found it to be a bittersweet and good finale, I can see some fans maybe walking away a little bit disappointed but it's always hard to end a show and i can't wait to hear your guys thoughts down below in the comment section so leave your thoughts down there hit that like subscribe button and without further ado let's get into this of course yes this takes place after season three where after losing their powers they now need to find their new purpose in navigating this new timeline and Overall, that's about as much as I can say without getting into spoilers. Actors and characters join into this mess, and in the end of the day, the apocalypse seems to be arising overall, since that is what happens in almost every single season. And for me, this was a season that I was very, very excited for. Umbrella Academy, personally, for me, is one of my favorite Netflix shows that Netflix has ever produced and put out. And... I've always come to it mostly because of how much I love this characters and the family of all of them, and specifically the actors that play each and every one of them. And I didn't know exactly what I was getting from going into the season. I didn't know what I was going to expect because I always expect the unexpected when it comes to Umbrella Academy because it's, it's weird, it's wacky, it's bloody, it's also a mess at times, but it is mostly because of the characters that you were involved in. And I think they are the heart and soul of this entire show. No matter what adventure they're going on, you're easily wanting to be invested within their storyline because you like them so much. And I found that in this season, that family element was the key piece of it all. Now, just to kind of get some mixed and issues that I have out of the way first off. And again, I will fully understand if you say you did not like the ending to this. I will fully understand if you say, hey... I didn't really like this show and where it kind of started to go. Totally understanding. To understand where I'm coming from, I did like this last season. And I can't really pinpoint where my actual issue is with some of this. Because overall, I liked where the show ended. I like where the characters ended up. And I like overall what this had to say for the entire world and in the thematics of the entirety of Umbrella Academy. But there's something missing. And I think some of those things pinpoint to some of my issues and some of my mixed aspects of this. And overall, one of the things that I'm a little bit mixed on is only having six episodes for your final season. I'm not sure if there was a budget pullback for this season or if that was initially what they just decided to do. But there are some storylines throughout this entire season that did feel rushed, felt like they didn't get enough umph or satisfaction and specifically where they even end up showing where our characters are after the events of season three i felt like we're a little bit lacking i would have liked a little bit more attention to detail there and it feels like we're trying to catch up and move on again the reality is after season three while everyone went in their own way and territory truthfully felt that there was a little bit of a stronger avenue to actually work in that department some of those things i think is what is making me have this missing feeling but i also on the contrary, I always feel this way after I end a show that I really liked is that bittersweet feeling that that's it. That is it for these characters, these actors as these characters and this entire story. And you get that bittersweet feeling. I feel like no matter what, I wasn't frustrated. I wasn't angry. I wasn't pissed off. I just kind of sat there going, wow, that's it. And I've had that with a lot of shows. And I feel that when I go back to actually rewatch the entire show in its entirety, understanding where the ending is going to be it'll hit a little bit harder and I might disappear that feeling. It's one thing, and maybe it's a selfish thing, but I do wish that we did have the full 10 episode runtime for this entire season. I think it would have helped flesh out certain storylines, specifically some that really get introduced in the last three episodes that I just don't think there was enough development on or enough time to really marinate into those situations. As for that, a couple more cons to kind of just mention. Some of the CGI in here feels a little bit weak. Um, maybe it was my press screenings. Maybe it's the actual show. I'm not sure. But in its entirety, now actually jumping into the show, I really appreciated where they end up going. 
I think the thematics of what everything makes out to be that I, I like the ending of this series. And I also will go as far to say that the family here is the one thing that I really liked. I liked what Elliot Page did in this role. Tom Hooper, I think, was a little bit underused in the season, but still just absolutely fun as Luther. I think David Castieta is so much fun as Diego. And I think his character specifically and a couple others really have this fundamental idea of what is our purpose in this new timeline. And he kind of goes through this entire realization and it was something that I was really important by. Thing goes for Emmy Lampman, who I think has just been a phenomenal piece of Allison. She's been one of my favorite characters. Robert Sheehan as Klaus, I've just absolutely love. Aiden Gallagher is number five, always a joyous part. Justin H. Min as Ben Hargraves. I think Ben is a really important key piece to the season. Really like what they ended up doing with him. Aria, who plays Lila, I think has always been one of the best parts of the show ever since she came in. And her integration into this series just performs even more stronger with some of the hardest choices having to be made into this season. Now, also going into this, this show is completely wild and wacky. And while I think it's a little bit more of a bittersweet season specifically in what their attempts are into this world and what they're needing to do, I still think the action is there. There's a lot of fun new elements with these characters. And again, not to go into complete spoilers, but specifically with how their powers come back into play. If you've seen the trailers, you've seen some of that. And for me, the way that they play around with that element, I thought was a lot of fun. Time traveling in the different universes, of course, is a major element of Umbrella Academy. And the way that it ties into this season is also great. And one of the big key surprises of the season, one thing with Column 4, who plays Reginald Hargraves, who has always been a character that has been frustrating to me. Been a character that I've been frustrated by and who feels very much repetitive in his instincts. But this is the first time that, you know, by the end of season three, when we see what is going on, I was like, okay, so like that's the direction they're going to head in. And to say the least, I was actually really surprised with what they did with Reginald and how a lot of the things that you learn in Umbrella Academy where it's turned upside down, which if you were learn something from the first three seasons, they kind of changed that idea and turn it around. Same thing with some of the character interactions and specifically him. It's something that you're not expecting. And that's actually like one of the key pieces that I really liked about the season is that the villain is not who you expect it to be. And the villain can be interpreted as so many different things and so many different people. But in the end of the day, once you actually see how the whole season plays out, it's actually a really touching thing that I really loved. See, it's weird reviewing this series because it is a bittersweet thing overall. And to leave this show with that bittersweet goodbye of these characters is something that I haven't really felt in quite a while when it comes down to saying goodbye to a series. In fact, one of the key pieces that I can say, and I think I've really come to the conclusion on what Umbrella Academy's kind of tone is, and it feels like a CW superhero show. And I don't mean this as a knock. I think some of those series were actually pretty good. More in the R-rated, bigger, grander territory. But in those series where you spend so much time with those characters and you get to say that goodbye, you kind of get that same thing with Umbrella Academy here where you're, this whole season is basically just saying goodbye, thank you for the memories. It was absolutely developed here as a grand series. Now, if you're someone who fell off on season three, I don't know if this is going to be the season that completely wins you back. I actually don't think it will be. You might actually think this is the worst season, even worse than season three. But as someone like me who has loved season one, loved season two, loved season three, and overall really liked season four, I walked away just saying goodbye to some of the craziest characters I've ever experienced in a comic book property, particularly this last generation of superhero stuff. And I am happy with what I got in the ending. Some of you won't be. I feel like there's a lot more that I can say, but I don't want to spoil the series for people who have not gotten to check it out yet. If you're a fan of Umbrella Academy, I think you'll be overall excited and okay with the ending it could have been a lot worse but i think there was two endings that needed to happen and one of them is this with that said umbrella academy season four is not what i expected it to be but it is a bittersweet thing that i'm happy that we now have all four seasons and i can't wait to go back and rewatch them all and be able to kind of have this comfort food of family to really feel like i'm integrated into them because in the end of the day we are all a part of the umbrella academy so lot said i'm gonna give umbrella academy season four a b Thank you so much again, guys, for watching this. Make sure to leave your thoughts down below. Hit that like and subscribe button. And of course, until next time, stay classy.